Hey everybody, welcome to Dork Lords. I'm here with uh, producer Steve. Producer Steve. Hey everybody. Producer Steve, everybody. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Rogue One. It's coming out in basically a month. Very exciting. Uh, all kinds of trailers. And then this featurette just came out recently, which has all kinds of new footage. Uh, we're learning a fair amount about Rogue One. And in fact, I've got a theory I'm going to express here in a second. Uh, Steve's apparently opening a brewski. I don't know. The, it, a mocha or a brewski. One of the two. Mocha brewskis. So, uh, this is awesome. Pour me a drink, producer Steve. <laughs> ah, brought to you by the good folks at Starbucks. Theory. Okay, one of the things we see in the latest tra tra the trailer and the featurette, there's a shot of, like... It seems like a bunch of the rebels are gathered in a room. It's kind of difficult to tell where it is. Maybe it's on a ship. I don't know. It's a dark room. And they're looking at a schematic of the Death Star. And then one of the... There's a woman who says, uh, What can we do against such power? Or something like that. And then uh, Jin's like, We have hope. A new hope. That was stupid. It, but yeah, that line is like... That was Ugh. so stupid. You know, but, but it's basically... Okay, to so me, it's a tie-in. Yeah, well, that's stupid. To me, that's like uh, when you're you've got a band and they use the lyric of the song name in the title, like you know what I'm saying. You know what we need to do? We need to strike back. We, the Empire. <laughs> if only we could. Okay, anyway, but uh, I ha so. I can't stand that. It's like thanks for letting me know because I had no idea because I'm an idiot. <laughs> I. Hate that crap. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so 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 she says they have hope. A uh, little rally and cry thing. You know, and if that was going to work, they should have at least said a new hope, and then all look at the camera. I don't know that they actually say a new hope, but if they, way, but yeah. they might as well. Have <laughs> they might as well have. Just like uh, what's that old Val Kilmer movie? Remember that? Uh, the old like, Val Kilmer movie. We're talking Willow, but it suggests that in that scene they they've already stolen the plans. Right? I mean, the whole point of the movie is, let's steal the plans. Well, they're looking at the Death Star. The Death Star's the little 3D hologram, which, like, let's get that technology. Let's do that. I like it. Um, so, here's my theory. My theory is, that's end of movie time. By the way, I guess spoiler alert? I don't know. It's a theory. So, end it's not really spoiler. Time? In other words, what that scene is, the, what can we do against such power? We have hope. I think that's... I think that's end of the movie after they've stolen the plans. Oh, see, I think that's before they stole the plans. Like, what can we do against such power? Let's steal the plans. I mean, I guess it's possible they're just looking at a hologram yeah. generally, but I'm just thinking it looks like that's the thing. Like, plug it in and then plans. Yeah. So if that's the case, I think at the end of the movie, they've gotten the thing, and they're like, oh, my God, wow, we are in real trouble. Uh, Darth Vader... Somehow, maybe tracked the plans, or maybe he had like a you know, he was tracking it somehow. He shows up and then, like, kind of just beats the hell out of everyone that's there in that room. And they kind of sacrifice themselves to save the plans, okay. Uh, and then maybe it even like I don't know, maybe maybe a young Leia is there. They like they put her on that, what are they, the Corellum freighter or whatever right. it is, the one that we see at the very beginning see, of New Hope. <clears throat> like it would lead up literally to moments before, like they sh that yeah. ship takes off, Darth Vader's like, and then he, you know, basically that it, it leads right into episode four, and maybe, maybe the whole cast is dead. I don't know. I mean, that's what I'm thinking because why did that cast not show up in episode right, four? Right. So they, they may all be dead because. That lady, I can't remember her name, said a lot of Bothans died. So now remember, that's a okay. FYI, that's from a that's from uh, Return of the Jedi, producer Steve. That's the second Death Star. The many Bothans died what? is a reference to the second. That I know that's it's it's a confusing, but because there's so many daggum Death Stars around here, but that's the that's the second Death Star. This okay. particular one doesn't involve Bothans, although it does. Uh, the director did mention that uh, in the crawl for mm -hmm. New Hope, when they're talking about spies and they get the plans, yeah. like yeah. their movie is that crawl. The crawl that's at the beginning of Star right. Wars: New Hope is this movie, right? So my my big question is, um, like you just said, what's the time frame between Rogue One and Episode Four? Is it five minutes? I think it's five minutes. Vader places a call. 
uh, prepare my shuttle, let's get back into the Star Destroyer so we can get them, or is it a year? But regardless, no. Leia's going to be that same age of like 19, 20 years old, so I wonder if they're going to give Leia appearance. They have to get a really good look like, or just shoot her from behind. Yeah, which maybe is just gonna be kind like of show cheesy. her ship or something. Or maybe, like, maybe That's Leia's ship! Right, right. Over there that you were off camera. Or, or maybe show her running through a corridor from behind. Right. Into the get ship. The, get, get the like, Cinnabons on her head. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I can't see her. It's got to be within either minutes or days. I don't yeah. know. I think, it, I, think it's, I think it's minutes. I think it's her ship will take off. And then this would be a cool scene, frankly, watching Vader be Vader. Yeah. And like... Like the cat, this cast, the Rogue One cast, who have, they do not have force powers as far as we know, are just kind of like, it's like lambs to the slaughter basically, but they're like willingly sacrificing themselves yeah. just to buy a little bit of time. You know what? That's a good point. Now we do see in one of the trailers, uh, it's, I think it's a Japanese trailer, uh, Jin's mom, we see a quick moment of her and she like gives Jin this necklace and is like, remember the force is with you or something like that. Some people are saying that maybe that means... She's got a kyber crystal, and maybe she can use the force. I don't think that's true. I don't think she's a force user. I don't know what this crystal is, except maybe... I think it's more just a token. I think it's like, this is how I remember my mom. Mm -hmm. um, so I think the I think the whole concept behind this, this particular movie was, these are not force users. These are kind of typical people, and we're not dealing with Jedis so much in this movie. Mm -hmm. There's Krennic. Yeah, that guy. The guy with yeah. the big cape yep. that we keep seeing. Yep. He walks through water with the cape. He's yeah. like, dude, it's getting wet. Uh, yeah, he's almost certainly going to get force choked. Do we know? I would say. Do I would say. <laughs> get ready for it. Is? <laughs> uh, bad? Do we know? He's bad. He he's a bad guy. He's he's like he's the guy who's like Death Star at all costs. Like he wants the Death Star built. You know, as we remember, like uh, Darth Vader isn't that that high on the Death Star. I mean, he's you know, remember he's like. Such power is nothing compared to the power of the Force. And, like, mm -hmm. He's more mystical and he really was Force. This guy's like, no, 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 no. Death Star. <laughs> and so I think, you know, they they are not on the same page. Oh. I think Krennic is trying to become Palpatine's second, the Emperor's second. Uh, and, and obviously since he's not in Episode 4, <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think Darth Vader uh, goes Vader on him. So he's not a Sith. Is he? he is not a no. He's just a, he's an imperial guy. Okay, he's like Grand Moff Tarkin. Okay, all right. You know, he wears the imperial outfit and hmm. da, 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 da. But we see him interestingly in an, uh, one of the trailers. We see him landing. This is like when Jin's a little girl, and Mads Mikkelsen is her dad, who's the guy who uh, spoiler alert uh, apparently designs the Death Star. I think yeah. that's also apparent in the trailers. But we see Krennic show up on the planet. Where it looks like he's like a moisture farmer or something. He's like, you, you're coming with me. That's so right. he's like, he's already, this is like, whatever, 15 years earlier. Yeah. He's like, I'm getting the people to build the Death Star. So obviously that's Krennic's baby. Krennic's all about building the Death Star. Okay. Yeah, that, that I forgot about that scene. Yeah. This is going to be a good film. Yeah, but I have a feeling <laughs> there's going to be a pretty high Vader body count, I think. So there you go. Rogue One, uh, I think we have less than a month now. Yeah, so uh, we'll do a few more. If, if we get some more fun little trailers or tidbits, we'll, we'll maybe try to do like one a week. Just give you some yeah. Rogue One info leading up to the movie. If you guys have any comments or your theories, please leave them on the channel. Please do. Right. Is uh, is Jen a Force user? Do you think there is a Force user? I mean, we know some Force-sensitive people are in the, in the movie, but are there Force users other than Darth, obviously? Uh, let me make that comment. Uh, but yeah, and if you have any other ideas for what this ending might be or how, how soon it takes place before episode four, uh, give us your theories. Thanks a lot, everybody. See you guys Door later. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>